The last two to three years, we've really seen a growth of life science and health startups that are coming through the Citrus Foundry. There's a growing number of these health and, and biotech companies that are both applying to our program and participating in our program. Now, maybe about 40 to 50 percent of companies we work with now fall within that space. If you go to a primary care doctor, first they will not really send out too many DNA tests. And if they send it out, they send it to these centralized labs. We're basically trying to bring that centralized lab testing into the doctor's office. So you get your results of multiple diseases right there on site and right away in 15 minutes. And you get the same kind of sensitivity while paying 10 to 100 times lower cost for the patient. We got SBIR grants and we just finished a trip in Africa. We did a proof concept with malaria and the results were looking very good. These days, the cost of starting a biotech or a health startup has actually dramatically reduced. The tools there are much more readily available. There's a lot more lab space open for companies to develop prototypes that are very cheap. Right now, if a patient comes in with one of these higher um, kind of risk urinary tract infections, they give a patient the sample to the doctor or the, the medical personnel, and then they take that sample and then it takes them two to three days to work it up and know exactly how that patient should be treated. So we would really change the workflow by enabling doctors to treat that patient immediately. Just completed a large-scale urinary tract infection study at Highland Hospital where we validated the core technology on real patient samples. So we tested nearly 500 urine samples from patients with suspected urinary tract infections and we had some really good results from that study. Researchers are not just interested in doing their research, publishing papers, but finding a way so that they can bring this out to the world through applications. According to the CDC, one in 25 people visiting hospitals actually contract infection. And about 100,000 people die every year. The first product we built was DCAB, as you can see here. DCAB is a disinfection cabinet for lead aprons. In our clinical trials, we performed at UCSD Medical Center and Sutter Hospital in Berkeley. We found 40 different bacteria growing on them. In our case, after disinfecting for 15 minutes, we found 99 to 100% disinfection, both at UCSD and also at Sutter Hospital. And that's why we believe that it's important to invest in these companies and be able to help get ahead of these major issues.